Oh my gosh, this, this pasta is looking almost done. I just tested it, it's al dente, so it's time to take it off. Good Italian use there. Okay, yes. so I've got a colander on the far side of the giant Amy pot. If you'll okay. go empty that for me. Okay, I sure will. And I'm gonna pull our tomatoes out of the oven. Okay, now, I kinda got called out on this a little bit. I'll explain what's happening here is that I use parchment paper, which I normally would never use on broil. If you loaded up the whole tray solid with tomatoes, that's gonna be fine because the tomatoes are gonna protect the parchment paper. I do not like cooking them directly on the foil because the aluminum, the metallic taste can kinda get leached out from all of the acidity. But let's take a look at how easy it is to remove the skins. I just take a fork, look oh, at the skin that comes is right pretty off. pretty simple. So when you're talking about like having to let it cool down, right. There's really, there's not much to it. About 10 minutes and that's it. Right. So we're just gonna add these to our, our pan with our sauce. Mm -hmm. And I like to deglaze that pan before I add the tomatoes with a very small amount of a very good wine. Yes. So basically that's about how much I'll put in for the sauce and then I'll be keeping the rest for me. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of wine, we recently took a trip to Brenham, Washington County, where we visited a great place called Pleasant Hill Winery. Take a look. We bought this property in 1992, planted that experimental vineyard over on the other side to see not what will make it through Pierce's disease, but will, what will grow on heavy clay soil because we knew seven varieties that had a tolerance for it and had been grown in hot and humid climate, so that was all covered. It was the soil that we experimented on, so everything you see here is growing on its own roots. So I'm out checking the red grapes in the experimental vineyard, and I look over at these grapes, and it's August, and they look kind of like golf balls. They, they weren't raisins, but they were getting like golf balls. And so I, what the heck, and so I tasted it. I go, it tastes good. <laughs> and basically, especially with a white grape, what it tastes like at harvest is what the wine's going to taste like when you're all done. Sugar's going to be gone, and alcohol's going to be there. Oh man, I'm going to have to do something with this now. So we ended up picking it. When we picked it, that was like 27% sugar. And so we're looking at 16.5% alcohol. So we're not a, a table white anymore. We're not, what am I going to do with 16.5% alcohol? white port style wine. Put it in the barrel, brought in the brandy, uh, you know, brought it up to 19.5%, and we had one barrel of what was gonna become Port Tejas Blanco, our white port style wine. My best uh, Tom Sawyer is our event called Crush for, Crush for Fun, where the last two weekends in July and the first two weekends in August, we invite everybody to come out, pick a little bucket of those Champanelle grapes, Put them in the bin or the barrel and stomp on them to your heart's content. Oh, that's fun. And then you will put your footprints or feet, handprints or whatever on the souvenir white t-shirt we sell you. Uh, <laughs> and so that's our crush for yeah. that's, that's, that's See, that's waste our crush. nothing. Well, and it's, you know, July and August, people don't want to come out. And yeah. now we've turned those into our wildflowers, July, and, you know, March and April. And then July and August are our busiest months of the year. Yeah. Yeah, the, you wouldn't believe the number of bucket list people that come out. I've always wanted to do this. Yeah. So yeah. this yeah. is the 2001 yeah. Cabernet. Now tell me for your blend, is this? This is 100%. Yeah. I never blended anything into the Fort Davis Cabernet. Oh, that's great. And we're having the end of uh, kind of a, an era, I guess, for the Fort Davis vineyard because the wildfire in 2011 that uh, didn't wipe out the vineyard but hurt the vineyard and. Uh, made the animals that were able to survive, able to jump eight foot fences in a single bound. Really hungry. <laughs> and they like wine like we do. Drinking wine and calling it work, can't beat it, right? That's right, and I got a great idea. You know that pot? That pot you gave me? Uh -huh. I could stomp grapes in that thing for wine. I'll be drinking that. <laughs> I wonder if Bob will let wow. me come out of work over there with my new pot. <laughs> Will you be washing up after standing here for a few hours cooking? Or <laughs> I guess it all ferments anyway, right? <laughs> Yay, yum. What is that je ne sais quoi? OK, so let's take a look at our sauce. <laughs> That's exactly what that means. I don't okay. know. OK, so what's going on with your maters? With my maters. So we've cooked out a lot of the, the moisture, so it's going to help make a denser sauce. This is our veal demi-glace oh, container. That's what the, OK doesn't have all those additives and preservatives. We've used this for sauces before, but right. you don't always think about it for marinara. There we go. <laughs> when it gets hot, it'll melt all out. 
Okay, our pasta is done. I like to do exactly what you did, which is leave it kind of back in the pot. It'll maintain some warmth. I don't like to hit that with olive oil because it's going to end up making it, uh, not allowing it to stick to the sauce. Oh, and okay? you know, sometimes I'll run cold water over it. What do you think about that? I, I feel like that rinses off some of the starch. It won't get as much sauce on it after that happens. Oh, the sauce won't stick to it. And as we're getting ready to go to break, I'm uh -huh. getting ready to make a mixture of our sangria with some of their off-dry white wine uh -huh. from Pleasant Hill with yeah. some Texas watermelon, some Texas vodka, uh -huh. and some sparkling wine. They're telling me to wrap, but I'm all interested in what's going on. Remember I told you about that summery drink? That's coming up next. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.